Kia ora and congratulations. You have been given the honour of being a Ripper rugby coach for this season. Um, and I'm going to share with you some of the insights into what that's about and hopefully give you some games that you can play along the way to help your sanity and them have fun. Probably the biggest thing you need to be aware of is that uh, whatever you remember as rugby, completely forget because you're starting again. Um, all these students or kids are turning up uh, ready to play. Some are there because they want to be there, some because their parents have been there, and some um, because they're just having their first go at it. So probably the biggest thing to understand is that um, you are starting from scratch. Um, all those um, hilly mullers that you used to do, all those grids, all those truck and trailers, you know, they're, they're not much use to you at all, and you really need to start from the basics. And so probably some of the best things to work out are that it is called Ripper Rugby. And if you can focus as much as you can on actually learning how to rip and put that rip back on and, um, and passing and handing it on to people and all those things you would have seen in the, in the drills and skills that we have done today, um, they're the ones that are going to help you. Despite that, your biggest challenge is going to be spending an hour with these uh, kids and actually detaining them. So the first thing they'll always ask is who wants to be, who, can I be captain of the team and do we get a game? And the answer is that everyone gets a chance to be a captain, but yes, you always end in a game. So it's really important that when you are involved in the whole uh, planning process is that you actually finish the, the day with a the, with the game, because that's where they learn you know, how to score and all those, all those things that you would have taught them. Focus on one key thing. So it might be learning how to rip one week, another week it might be how to have those three steps, another week it might be how to score a try, um, it might be another week of actually having to have turns. Um, but all those things are really, really important because they are all the basis and all those little parts of the jigsaw puzzle that form Ripper Rugby itself. The other challenge that you've got is that you, next year, or the season after, or the season after that, all those players come back because we want rugby to be a sport where the students, uh, kids choose to be um, part of it, come back and play, and that's because you as a coach, what, you, what experience that you've given them, whether it be the fun they've had, the games they've had afterwards, uh, the, the drills and skills you've done, how you've treated them before the game and after the game and during the game, all those things really, really count. So that's sort of the training side of things. Um, the next thing you need to understand is the day of the game. Now, uh, oranges at half time, that's great. That's a great tradition. Uh, water bottles, if they have their own water bottle, that's great. If you've got your own water bottles, that's cool as well. Um, but you need to also forget all the things that you used to do when you were playing. So I'm going to give you a basic outline of what it's sort of like before a game. Half hour before the game, you're probably there with all, your, all the gear bags and the jerseys ready to go all laid out. Probably you and maybe someone else, probably your own child. About another 10 minutes later, you get a few other keen kids coming along. And then about 20 minutes, another 10 minutes after that, you might get another few more. And about five minutes for the game, you've got people running from all different car parks, belts are getting on and ripping and you're on the field. So the, the biggest focus of you before the game is to use who's around you and the people who are around you, because the kids can't legally drive themselves there, are your whanau. So get them to help you put the belts on, get them to help put the jerseys on, get them to help to tie the shoelaces. All those things that everyone feels like part of the team. And then if you get a little chance to do a little warm up or a game beforehand, um, focus on them ripping the ball and handing it to someone else and then really getting them on the field. So they're the key things that will help you. Ripper Rugby is a great game. It is a foundation for all those things that you will see our All Blacks play, from Small Blacks to All Blacks. Um, you know, the two hands on the ball, looking for passing, looking for support play, all those things. It's a great foundation game. Keep remembering that they're there for fun and keep remembering you want them all back next year because that is your aim.